Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I will be showing you how I cope tubing and pipe in Fusion 360. Let's get started. First we'll create a sketch of the skeletal structure of our tubing assembly. For this example we'll just draw a simple right triangle with equal legs. Now we'll go over to create and come down the list, select pipe, we'll select one of the legs, we'll set our tubing dimensions which has already been set, 2 inch tubing with a 120 wall thickness, turn our sketch back on because we still need it, we'll do a right click, select repeat pipe, select the hypotenuse, do a new body, same tubing dimensions, hit OK. Do a right click, repeat pipe, select the left leg, and we'll do a new body, same tube dimensions. And we can turn off our sketch because we're done with it. Now, let's extend all the ends of the tubes so that the outer surfaces completely intersect each other. Now we're ready to cope. So we'll come up here to modify and we will select split face. We're going to select the inner surface and outer surface of the tube that we want to coat. And then we're going to come over here to splitting tool and we're going to select the outer surface of the tube that governs that coat. To see what just happened, we'll come over here and we will isolate by doing a right click, come down, select isolate, and you can see the split surfaces on that tube. We'll do a right click, press pull, we'll select these two interfaces and do a negative extrude of the wall thickness that we had set for this tube, so minus 0.12. And now that cope is complete. Now we can do a right click, do an unisolate. You can see that this cope perfectly conforms to that lower tube. Now let's do the cope that is between these two parts. We'll do a split face. We'll select the inner surface and outer surface of the tube we want to cope. Come over to Splitting Tools, select the outer surface of the tube that governs that cope. We'll hit OK. We'll isolate our body once again. We will do a right click, press pull. We'll select these two interfaces. Do a negative extrude of the wall thickness. If you look down here, you'll see that there is still a section of the tube that needs to be extruded. So we'll do a press pull again, a negative extrude of the wall thickness, and now the cope is complete. Do an unisolate. And now I will show you how to miter tubing.
We'll start by creating a sketch on the original plane that we drew the triangle on. And we want to come over to create, go to project include, go to intersect, and we're going to select the two tubes that we are trying to miter. Now we can draw a line between the two intersecting points of these tubes. We'll come over to surface, come down to extrude in the create bar. We'll select that line we just drew, do a symmetric extrude and extrude that surface beyond the surfaces of the tubes. Come back over to solid. We'll do a split face again like we did before. We'll select the inner and outer surfaces of the tubes we want to cope, or miter in this case. We'll select the splitting tool which is the surface we just drew and we'll hit OK. Now we can turn that surface off because we're done with it. and we'll isolate one of these tubes. Like we did before, do a right click, press pull, select the inner surface, do a minus the wall thickness extrusion. And again, we still have a little sliver that needs to be extruded, so we'll select that and do a negative extrude of the wall thickness. We'll isolate this lower leg. Do what we did before, right click, press pull, select the inner surface, negative extrude of the wall thickness. And again, we still have a little sliver left over. We'll do a negative extrude of the wall thickness. Do an unisolate. And now that miter is complete. Next, next example I'm going to show you is what I call a free floating cope. So we'll start a sketch, we'll come down to project include, we'll do an intersect. Make sure our construction is on. We'll come back, select a line, and what we're trying to do is make this line collinear with the left edge of that left leg. So we'll turn construction off so we can extrude this line. I'll just draw it off in an arbitrary angle and length. We'll make it collinear with that edge. We'll hit OK and our sketch is complete. Let's go over to surface like we did before. Do an extrude of that line. Do a symmetric extrude. Extend it beyond the surface of the tube we're trying to cope. Hit OK. Go over to solid. Do a split face. Select the inner and outer surface of the tube we're trying to cope. Go over to splitting tool, select the splitting tool which is the surface we drew. And we can turn that surface off now because we're done with it. Now we'll do a right click, press pull, select the inner surface, do a negative extrude of the wall thickness. And we still have a little sliver left over in the outer surface. So we'll do the same for that, press pull. Select it, negative extrude with the wall thickness, and that cope is complete. Now we'll move on to another type of cope. We'll put a hole in the center of the lower leg, and I will show you how that's done. So we'll start off by creating a sketch, select the original plane that we had sketched our triangle on. We're going to come over here, select a circle, just draw it anywhere.
and we are going to set this circle in the center of the lower leg so we'll do three inches and a one inch diameter hole do a horizontal constraint so it's in the center of the tube and that sketch is complete now we'll go over to surface and extrude that circle Circle's already been selected. Do a symmetric extrude. Extend it beyond the surface of that tube. Hit OK. Now we'll go over to solid, split face. We'll select the outer and inner surface of the tube we want to cope. Go over to splitting tool, select the surface we just drew. Hit OK. Now we can turn that surface off because we're done with it. Do a right click, press pull, select these two surfaces, negative extrude to the wall thickness, 0.12. Now we want to do these little slivers on the inside of the tube, so same thing, right click, press pull, negative extrude to the wall thickness, make sure we get all four. Minus 0.12, hit enter, and that cope is complete. That concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please state them below in the comment section. Thank you for watching.